Veteran homelessness is a chronic issue all across the state. Carolina News reporter Amy Saucas has details on how residents in Richland County are aiding the problem. He's a fourth generation servant to the United States, but this war hero is still giving back. You know, we're just taking care of our own. Uh, every person that's ever wore a uniform, whether it's whatever branch of service that they decided they had to go into, uh, still took their turn on the wall, what we call taking our turn on the wall. And uh, so we just got to take care of each other. And taking care of each other is what today was all about. McDonald's is usually the place to eat, but today Harvest Hope turned it into a place to give. But not just for any population, for a population of veterans. Um, we're here to support the militaries of this in the state. It's called Operation HP for Hunger Prevention. We help um, veterans and um, active and retired who are in food insecurity. In United States Army veteran Ralph Medina says veterans need all the assistance they can receive. And they're the silent, uh, they're the silent community. You know, they're not going to go out there and tell you what they need. And this silence has led to the 10.3 percent of South Carolina veterans, making up 12.8 percent of the homeless population. Even worse, over 49 percent of the veterans are unsheltered, and over 500 homeless veterans are currently in Richland County, making it the number one county in the state for homeless veterans. We have a long military history here, and uh, I'm happy to see that the community is, is supporting, you know, the military. For Carolina News and veterans across the state, I'm Amy Saucus. The Harvest Hope Food Drive at the Forest Drive McDonald's continues until 7.30 p.m. tonight if you want to give back to veterans. If you are unable to make the drive, you can always give at the Harvest Hope Food Bank or online.